what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're talking about some things that just came out regarding halloween ends now the stuff regarding the new potential character names and the breakdowns about them that's not confirmed i couldn't find anything to verify that but i did manage to find stuff to verify the fact that the working title apparently for halloween ends is going to be called cave dweller now if you google uh halloween ends cave dweller in the search results you should get an image like this with production weekly being one of the sites that has it listed and then you if you look through this little image that i have up now you'll see that it has halloween ends with the working title cave dweller so rest of the stuff that i'm going to be talking about is coming from murphy's universe uh shout out to them for going over these potential new characters i'll just say because again i wanted to find something to verify that these are on casting sheets somewhere or just casting call sheets auditions somewhere i couldn't find it but they are claiming that filming will take place in savannah georgia starting on january 19th and then of course they go over the fact that the director david gordon green is returning and then of course he how he's described the halloween ends film as a coming of age film and you know we already know it's going to be set four years after the events of halloween 2018 and halloween ends so they go on to say Halloween Ends is looking to cast a fair amount of roles. Among them are a self-assured nurse named Aaron. So first character named Aaron, who's between the ages of 28 and 35 and is very judgmental, as well as a pr proprietor between the ages of 40 and 80 years old. So a proprietor, is, I guess that'll be just a random background character. Other roles being cast for the film are, so along with Aaron, we have a character named Scott, a character named Donna, a character named Mr. Mead, and Mrs. Mead. And then from the breakdowns, Scott is described as a male between the ages of 52 and 57. He is stern, strong, and, and a straight shooter who is sometimes checked out. Donna is described as being 55 to 65 year old female who is Timothy's overbearing and critical mother. Mr. Mead and Mrs. Mead are the parents to a young boy named Noah who is a nice kid with the ability to switch to a jerk on a dime. Both Mr. and Mrs. Mead are described as being between the ages of 40 and 50 years old. There's a middle class suburban or they are a middle class suburban family with the father being described as a tough as nails and the mother said to showcase emotional depth. So some other characters apparently that will be factored into Halloween ends will be a character named Brandon, young Johnny and Veronica. Brandon is described as a male between the ages of 40 and 60. He is a large man in weight and a sense of authority who finds his son to be a disappointment. Young Johnny is a male between the ages of 6 and 10 who has long blonde hair with a slight gap between his teeth. The character is described as having dark eyes being a bit small. Veronica is the last of the trio. She's between the ages of 40 and 45 and is strong-willed protective wife who is broken by the reminders of tragedy. So Halloween ends being shot out in Savannah, Georgia. Now I might be, but I guess I'm late to this, but this has been a, I guess known by a lot of people for some time. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe some of you didn't know this either. I thought they were still filming this out in Wilmington, North Carolina, but apparently they seem to have switched up gears and they'll start filming this ac according to Murphy's multiverse on January 19th out in Savannah, Georgia. And then those characters I just went over how, of course they are connected to Lori, uh, presumably, of course, Allison as well. Lindsay Wallace, if she, if Kyle Richards returns, I, 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 again, I believe they have already expressed interest in wanting to have her back. And, you know, of course, the other individuals that survived the first two movies, how they'll factor in with these already established legacy characters, plus the character of Allison Nelson. I don't know. Allison Nelson, I know already will presumably be someone who well i don't know this for a fact but again i'm just going to assume she's going to be someone who is going through kind of like the same thing generally that Lori strode was going through in the first half of the 2018 film and then what she had been going through for the past 40 years since the events of the 78 film so we'll probably see her in more of a state where she's just trying to cope with everything she endured you know losing your losing both of your parents in the same night um losing your boyfriend who at the time you kind of were already mad at anyway but of course you still felt some type of way about the guy and then you know just having to live with all of that and then realizing that perhaps if your mother had listened to your grandmother she and your father would still be here today she probably has some sort of feelings of guilt also because maybe if she had listened to her when she told her to stay in the hospital 
uh, Karen wouldn't have felt the need to, you know, go out there and protect her daughter, or at least try to track down Michael Myers and keep her daughter safe from the boogeyman. Because that's ultimately what ended up happening. When she left the hospital, Karen didn't leave right away, but ultimately she ended up leaving, helping the mob and then saving Allison at the very end at the Myers house when she was about to get killed by distracting him and then luring him out into the mob crowd where they beat him to death or not to death where they tried to beat him to death and then for some strange reason they thought that all of those little i would say baby shots when you're dealing with michael myers they thought that was enough they just left him lying there and then he, michael got up and he of course took out several men that we know he should not have been able to do like that we we know that shouldn't have happened <laughs> but as far as like all these new characters i think that we'll learn more of more about them of course as the date for production to start nears will also learn if these characters are actually going to be in the film because again i can't find where they have gotten these names from murphy's multiverse again that's who is claiming these are the new characters that are going to be in halloween ends that's why i put in my thumbnail potentially i couldn't find anything as far as like a casting sheet or a casting call because i know those are out there for anything titled cave dwellers i couldn't find anything like how i i have been finding stuff for those of you who watch my jeepers creepers videos i was finding things left and right for jeepers creepers reborn but i haven't been able to find anything casting wise or character wise for this film in particular to verify that any of these characters are actually going to be characters in the film so if you are excited about these new little bits of information, then I guess let me know down in the comment section below. Of course, nothing really too big to go off on, just some character names with their ages. And I I was starting to think that young Johnny was going to somehow be related to Big John and Little John. But then, of course, as I was reading the descriptions, we find out that's not the case. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Are you excited and looking forward to Halloween in starting the film out in Savannah, Georgia, apparently on January 19th of next year? What do you think will go down in the film as far as like how it all ends, how it all wraps up? How do you think Laurie Strode will play a factor? How do you think Allison Nelson will play a factor? And how do you think all of these characters will be connected to them? But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, and miss a video in the description. I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, as any movies. Movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.